just let me go! <laughs> you are our Son Goku. <laughs> let him go, Zakai. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> Control of your power, boy. For good or for evil. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we'll see. are a disgrace. What? My mask! Wait. This vision of the future. It's not possible. What kind of power is this? It's even greater than that of some gods. <laughs> and that's impossible. Damn. I'm weak. I lost too much energy against the army of the Mother of Angels. This is your end, Son Goku! <laughs> Wait! What is this? Hey, you won! Leave Kakarot where he is! You will be my opponent! The Great Vegeta! The Prince of all Saiyans! <sighs> Who are you? <laughs> Show yourself! You will become much stronger. What? What are you doing? My power is yours now. You will defeat all the gods! 
I was waiting for you, Son Gohan. Unleash your fury!
have no choice. Planet Earth, Universe 7. Gohan and Piccolo are emotionally devastated after seeing the destruction caused by the intense battle they just had. After defeating their enemies, the two feel guilty for what just happened. Gohan and Piccolo faced two immensely powerful enemies, thus causing great damage to Planet Earth. Piccolo, seeing Gohan's condition, tries to console him by telling Gohan, Don't worry, Gohan. We'll find a way to bring everyone back and fix everything. At that moment, Gohan said, You're right, Mr. Piccolo, but our enemies said we wouldn't be the only ones, and that is worrying me. Meanwhile, on the planet of destruction, Whis has just left Goku and Vegeta in the portal towards the Dark Realm, on the way to the infamous Makai Realm, so that they can rescue Beerus. Goku and Vegeta say goodbye to Whis and walk towards the portal that will take him to this other dimension. Whis, with a face of concern, wishes them good luck. Hey there, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button and subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Let's go back to the point. And with a simple look, he says, I hope they managed to accomplish the mission. After entering the path that would take them to Makai, Goku tries to apologize to Vegeta, saying, Vegeta, I wanted to apologize for what happened earlier. I didn't mean to humiliate you or anything. When I used that transformation for a while, I stopped feeling like myself. Vegeta at that moment, aggressive as usual, doesn't wait for Goku to finish talking, grabbing his collar. Pressing him against the wall, angrily says Vegeta, Kakarot, do you think you would be able to defeat the powerful Prince of the Saiyans, Vegeta? I would never lose to a worm like you. Maybe this mute's real Kakarot could have the powers compared to mine. And even then I would tear him to pieces. But you wouldn't stand a chance. At this moment, Goku becomes enraged, grabbing Vegeta's wrist, pushing him, and screams. It doesn't matter what you say at this time. I am more powerful than you and I hope you understand that. And I won't be fighting you now. Because we have a mission. And when it's over, I'll be happy to make you swallow your arrogance. And then Vegeta's eyes, filled with fury, begins to change. He begins to transform, causing his key to explode, throwing Goku in the opposite direction, angrily saying, ah! Ah! I don't care about this damn mission. Let's settle this here and now. At that moment, they are interrupted by an evil presence, and they hear a dark laugh. <laughs> I am the guardian demon of this world. I see that you are facing a small dilemma to know which one of you is stronger. But that doesn't matter to me. I will not let two imbeciles pass. I will finish you both. Vegeta, who was furious, interrupts him with a punch in the face throwing away the demon with his attack, causing him to collide with the wall, defeating him in the matter of seconds. And after that, saying, Tch, Insignificant worm. Don't get in my way. I'm not in a good mood today. Vegeta looks back and says, teasing Goku, Let's get this stupid mission over with, because I can't wait to finish you off. Meanwhile, in the Makai realm, we see several Makaioshins gathered where one of them sarcastically says to the other, It looks like you failed with your plan and your powerful minions have been defeated. What do you intend to do now? After the provocation of that evil being, it rages, releasing immense energy, making everyone feel how great its power, then exclaims, Don't play with me. My plan hasn't failed yet because this was just a sample of what we can do. 
After all, it's much better to make our enemies feel powerless and weak before the final blow than to defeat them the first time. After saying that, he lets out an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Returning to planet Earth, Piccolo and Gohan continue to face terrible doubts of that moment. But Weezer rises before the two. Gohan is surprised by the presence of the angel and Piccolo asks, What are you doing here, Whis? What are you doing here? Whis responds, I just sent Goku and Vegeta to the Makai Kingdom so they can rescue Lord Beerus with everything. I made the decision that I should train you. For I see that enemies are rising to destroy the Earth and prevent those two from accomplishing the mission they were given. At that moment, Gohan smiles and says, Sir Whis, thank you for your concern, but I will have to decline. As you can see, my father and Mr. Vegeta are not here to protect the Earth. So we won't be able to go out to train even if it's to increase our powers. You won't help if the Earth is destroyed while we're training. Piccolo, full of pride, looks at Gohan and smiles. Whis then says, You dummy, we can do this training right here on Earth, so they can hone their skills while protecting the land. So they can hone their skills while protecting the land. Gohan then agrees to train with Whis, and they decide to go to Boma's house where they can find Trunks and Goten. They were training in the high gravity room to improve their skills and powers. When arriving at Boma's house and finding the boys, Whis and Impressus says, Wow, how you've grown. I see that your powers have also increased a lot. You're already grown up now. Mmm. Gohan says to Goten, Piccolo and I are going to train with Mr. Whis. What do you think about training with us? Trunks quickly gets excited, saying, And seriously? We can train with you? Gohan says, Well, of course. We're going to need as much help as possible so that we can protect the planet Earth while our parents are away. Whis, Gohan, Piccolo, and the boys then decide to start training. Going to a place with more space, Whis sits in a beach chair while watching Trunks and Goten making the fusion becoming the powerful Gotenks. Whis then instructs Piccolo and Gohan to fight as one so that they can overcome the difficulties of fighting as a duel. A small fight starts between the three warriors so that they can test their skills. Piccolo and Gohan go at the same time to Gotenks, who defends both attacks and we speaks. Don't forget to attack together as one! You are faster and stronger, you just need to coordinate your attacks. At that moment, Gohan and Piccolo, as if they were each other's mirror, manage to attack at the same time with a kick. Gotenks receives the blow but immediately retaliates with a key sphere hitting Piccolo and kick hitting Gohan. Whis then starts laughing. <laughs> you must not only mirror your attacks, but also become each other's defenses. Gotenks then says, I know you're not using all your powers and better take it seriously if we're not going to end you because now it is the time for Super Gotenks. Feeling confident, Gotenks decides to transform into Super Saiyan and begins to attack the two several times. Gohan decides to use his Piccolo transformation to boost his ki and now the real battle is about to begin. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta continue on their way to reach the realm of darkness. The Makai Kingdom seen in the distance in that dark corridor, a light shine brightly. And Goku says, Vegeta, that must be the exit, let's hurry! Glimpsing what seems to be the exit, Vegeta just grumbles and the two follow in that direction. When approaching, they visualize a door and when going through that door, they see a world completely destroyed around them. They can hear cries of despair. They see flames burning everything around them and a hot wind that brings the most evil energy. They touch their faces, worried. The two ask themselves what place that would be. And then, in front of them appears a figure similar to a humanoid dragon that presents itself saying, Welcome! You have just arrived in the void. I am the guardian demonic dragon of this world, and I do not accept the presence of invaders! Goku and Vegeta stare at him, feeling the intimidating presence, and then Goku says, Goku and Vegeta stare at him, feeling the intimidating presence, and then Goku says, this enemy is completely different from the others. 
Now it's my turn to fight. Vegeta turns to the side saying just, whatever. Goku raises his key and his enemy doesn't feel threatened at all. The enemy then turns around throwing a punch to the opposite side that directly hits Goku, who falls to the ground confused. And Goku says, what did he do? He punched the other way and, and, and I felt like it really hit me. What is happening? A battle with a mysterious enemy begins. Goku has just been hit without having the slightest idea where the attack came from. Vegeta watches him as Goku slowly gets to his feet. Goku then says to his enemy, You really are very powerful, so let's fight seriously! At this point, Goku goes on the offensive. The guardian demonic dragon of the void bends down, closing his fist and hits the ground. Goku then, at this moment, feels the impact coming from above as if he was being punched in the head, causing him to fall face down on the ground. Vegeta, who was watching, smiles and says, Stupid Kakarot, if you want, we can change places, because I see you haven't figured out what the lizard guy's technique is. Goku then raises his head, spitting out the dirt he had swallowed and says, Vegeta, let me fight a little longer. <laughs> I think I started to understand his technique. The Guardian interrupts them, saying, Come on, intruders. Stop talking and attack me! At this moment, Goku advances at high speed to the enemy who has his arms crossed. The Guardian raises one of his leg, banging his knee against the air. Goku then quickly turns around, making a defense position, protecting himself from the blow that would come from the other side and then exclaims, I got you! Impressed with Goku's technique, the Guardian says, I see you managed to read my movements and defend yourself against my attacks. Congratulations! As a sign of respect, I will say my name. Astarak. Goku smiles slightly and says, Hmm. Name's Goku. Pleased to meet you. Let's keep on fighting. Universe 7. Gohan in his Saiyan form released all his power before Gotenks. Gotenks sarcastically says, You are powerful, but I am more throwing an extremely powerful kick towards him. Piccolo suddenly appears in front of him, hitting him with a kick. Whis is impressed and says, Apparently they finally understood. <laughs> One needs to cover each other's weaknesses both in defense and attack so that no enemy will even be a match for them. Gotenk starts to stand up, screaming while raising his key. Super Ghost Kamikaze! Then he positions himself and begins to expel several ghosts around him. Whis widening his eyes and says, Oh look! They even managed to master this technique! Impressive! I'm really surprised! Gotenk says, Number 1, 2, 3, attack left! 4, 5, 6, you go right! 7, 8, go under! 9, 10, go over! All the ghosts attack Gohan and Piccolo who are next to each other. The attacks come from all directions. Gohan reaches out with his hand, holding Piccolo by the arm, spins him around with great force, launching a gust of wind that hits the ghost that came from the sides. Piccolo then positions himself, making a support with his hand so that Gohan rises and is thrown upwards, causing him to pass between the ghosts, stretching his arms and launching a gust of ki, thus destroying the ghosts from above. Gohan then looks down and fires an energy blast towards Piccolo. He concentrated an energy in his hand, uniting it with Gohan's energy and reflecting it to the remaining ghosts. At this time, Piccolo looks at Gotenks and exclaims, <laughs> Is that all you've got? Gotenks then responds, See, 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 not even close. He ducks down and starts screaming, <laughs> At this point, he transforms into Super Saiyan 3. Goku's battle continues in a vacuum. Several attacks are aimed at Goku who dodges easily. The Guardian feels cornered and decides to go one-on-one -on -one towards Goku, hitting him in the face. Goku shows no reaction when he takes that blow and returns it, immediately throwing it back away. Goku jumps up and starts screaming. Kamehame! Ah! 
The Guardian is hit in full strength and gets extremely injured. Goku then approaches his enemy who was completely defeated and sees him lying on the ground. Astarak at that moment looking at Goku says, Damn you. That was really powerful. And I couldn't defeat you. Before you finish exterminating me, I need to tell you something. I'm just a puny demon. At that moment, a flashback begins. Astanak said that long time ago he had a family, a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter in a lost world in that universe. He is able to do anything for the survival of his only hope on a planet consumed by chaos. Filled with greed and hatred, he had no choice in that world surrounded by poverty. So to provide and feed his family, he becomes a criminal, being part of gangs, doing things that he did not enjoy doing. Some time passes and destiny puts a cruel irony in front of him. The opportunity to leave that life. Happy, he returns home just to find his wife and daughter. Dead. His humble home had been attacked by criminals who took the lives of his family. At that moment, his world collapses. And because of that, he surrenders to evil. Looking for revenge until one day he meets his regretful end. And thanks to his ability to break through the barriers of reality, he had been tasked with becoming the guardian demonic dragon of the void. The flashback ends. We see Goku next to that fragile being, on his knees listening to every word he's saying. Astra kept speaking. So I beg you, please avenge me and my family. And now, I will find peace in my wife's cradles with my daughter. Goku holds his hands and says, I promise, I will avenge them. And with a smile of peace, Astarak dies, turning to ashes, being carried away by the winds. Goku and Vegeta silently follow their path. Meanwhile on Earth, Gotenks transformed into Super Saiyan 3, rapidly moving towards Piccolo and Gohan, with an incredible sequence of blows. The two put their guards up, and Whis, watching everything, then screams. Hey guys, that's enough! I can see that you really are powerful! Now, I can move on to the next phase of our training. Let's call it... Phase 1. So at that moment, the fusion of Gotenks dissolves. Piccolo then asks Whis. Wouldn't that be... Phase 2? Whis then responds by laughing. <laughs> oh, Piccolo, you're so funny. No, this was just a warm-up, Mr. Piccolo. The training starts now. So let's start by explaining the training. For this training, we're going to use some kachi kachin stones so that you can increase your resistance and the durability of your powers. We raises his staff and countless cube made of this material begin to fall from the sky, after which Weez begins to say, this is the most resistant material in the universe. You are going to have a little competition here, and whoever manages to break the most cubes in one hour, I'll give a reward. <laughs> now, use my powers to release your hidden strength. Weez extends his hands and a gigantic hourglass appears in front of him, and then Weez says, Ready? Go! You can start now! Piccolo and Gohan start first, firing their key in order to destroy several cubes. Trunks and Goten start whispering to each other and say to Whis, We'll be right back! And then they fly away. Whis gets curious and just smiles. Sometime later, Gohan and Piccolo had already destroyed about 5 cubes each. When suddenly we see Trunks and Goten flying, bringing what looked like a truck, landing in front of Whis. They open the truck doors and fire some attacks. Then we says, All right, boys, time out. Let's count. In one side, he observes that Piccolo and Gohan destroyed five cubes each. In the other side, he looks at Goten and Trunks and asks, Um, what is that? And Goten responds, 
Well, you said it was supposed to destroy cubes, but you didn't say it was supposed to be these ones. So Trunks went to his mom and she bought 10,000 Rubik cubes and we destroyed them all. Piccolo and Gohan looked annoyed. We says, Oh, aren't you the smart ones? Congratulations, you won. At this moment, Whis approaches to the boys, putting his hands on their heads and a glow appears. After Goku and Vegeta pass through the vacuum, they are faced with a plain terrain, and in the distance, they see a gigantic fortress. Trunks and Goten both possess immense hidden power, and Whis help them to awaken them. Whis touches their head, causing a celestial aura to cover them, bringing in an incredible hidden power. Gohan and Piccolo watch in awe. Goten and Trunks look at their hands, feeling the energy flood through them, until Whis says, It is done! You have reached the height of the powers that you possess. The boys are completely happy and feel that their energy has increased exponentially. They are amazed at how strong they have become and can hardly believe it, and we sells them. This is the potential power that you already had before, but you can reach when you turn into Super Saiyan or doing the fusion. Your powers will increase even more. Meanwhile, in the Makai Kingdom, in the room of the evil Makaioshins, they already noticed that Goku and Vegeta were approaching and a big doubt arises at that moment. Are we going to stop Son Goku and Vegeta, or will we send more warriors to the land? At that moment, one of those evil presences answers, Why not both? At that moment, he raises his arms and two warriors, extremely sadistic and powerful, come out from a side door. That mysterious Makayoshin then says, These are Zabun and Braddock, the darkest warriors in the vacuum world. Their powers are unrivaled. We can send one of them to Earth and the other to stop Goku and Vegeta, so we can kill two birds with one stone. Everyone in the room responds, Yes! Meanwhile on Earth, the warriors were eating to recover their energy and to continue their training. Trunks and Goten were full of confidence after getting their new powers. Trunks says then, Goten, I can't wait to test how strong we've become. Goten responds, So do I, Trunks. I want to test it soon. Gohan tells them, Take it easy, boys. We'll train soon, and you'll be able to show if you're really stronger. But in the next training, we're not going to take it easy on you. Trunks replies, You can come with everything, Gohan. And then continue to eat in anticipation of training. Goku and Vegeta, facing the gigantic fortress, decide to approach, wondering what dangers are waiting them there. When starting to approach, Goku tells Vegeta, It seems the closer we get, the farther he gets, Vegeta. And Vegeta responds, It must be an illusion. Let's fly and go towards it at full speed. Goku agrees and the two fly off. The closer they got to the fortress, the bigger it appeared to be. Goku was extremely impressed and astonished. Vegeta has the same feeling and they continue on their journey. On Earth, warriors prepare to begin training when they feel a presence approaching. We says with a serious look, Get ready, an enemy is approaching. Gohan and Piccolo are ready preparing. Trunks and Goten looks on apprehensively. When suddenly, the enemy stops in front of them, and then it starts to say, Hello, my name is Zabun, a soldier sent from the kingdom of Makai, and I am here to destroy everyone on this planet. Whis at that moment looks and says, So you're sent from Makai, I suspected? At that moment, Gohan observes the enemy and it is already preparing to start a fight. Everyone is looking at each other in a serious look for everything around. Go on, Mr. Piccolo, he doesn't look that strong. Me and Goten can take care of him, and we'll be able to test our powers. Gohan and Piccolo look at the boys, and Gohan asks what he thinks about it, and Piccolo answers. Let them go. If they need us, we'll be there. Trunks and Goten vibrate with energy, and Goten screams at the enemy. Hey, asshole, we're going to be your opponents. Zabun looks at them and starts laughing and says, <laughs> You're belittling me, you little worms. I'm going to pulverize you. And then goes directly at the boys, who starts to dodge. Gohan and Piccolo are surprised, and then Gohan says, He's more powerful than we weigh it, and his speed is unusual. Piccolo watches and responds. I don't know if the boys will handle it. Whis interrupts them and speaks. Don't worry. Don't forget that they are much more powerful now. They are just warming up. Goten says to Trunks. Trunks, he's very fast. Trunks responds. But I'm a little disappointed. I thought he was going to be way more powerful. His punches aren't even landing on us. Zabun then stops attacking them and says. All right. So since you guys resist these weak attacks, I'll use my real power now. 
he goes to the ground and concentrates his ski, and he starts screaming, Arr! releasing impressed power that makes even Whis impressed. At that moment, Goten and Trunks descend on the ground as well, and Goten says, We also have something for you! And they start to say, Fusion! Ha! As they merge, the pressure of their key causes the entire planet to begin to shudder. The crushing pressure of Zabun's power and that of Gotenks makes Piccolo and Gohan scared, fearing that the entire planet will be affected by this battle. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta arrive at the entrance of the fortress. Goku says, Finally we arrived! Vegeta responds, This fortress is really gigantic. We couldn't even see it completely from that distance. The two are surprised by the immensity of that place, and they stand and look, when suddenly, Braddock appears in front of them and starts to say, Hello, invaders. I am Braddock. One of the Makayoshin's demon army generals is here to exterminate them. Vegeta smiles and tells Goku, At least it is my turn to fight someone. Goku looks at Vegeta, clenches his fists and says, Vegeta, I think this is not a common enemy. His presence is extremely dangerous. I think we'll have to fight together. Vegeta says, Shut up, Kakarot. Leave that worm to me. And he goes towards the enemy. Goku accompanies him at a high speed. The two hit the villain with a punch, who defends the attacks by holding each punch with one hand. He smiles and says, Useless. I haven't even finished talking yet. Don't interrupt me. This is one of the four pillars of the celestial prison that is above your heads, and I will prevent you from passing through here. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta look up, and in the sky, as far as the vision could reach, lost in the middle of the black clouds with lightning, they can see the immensity of the building. And that gigantic fortress they watched was just one of its main pillars. Goku says to Vegeta, Get down! Vegeta responds, Don't bother me, damn it! Goku spins and lends a kick on the enemy that doesn't even move. Vegeta hits him with a hook coming from below, hitting his chin. Braddock says, You are no match for me. At that moment, he spins them and throws them to the sides. He uses a technique similar to teleportation. As Goku and Vegeta fly away, he starts teleporting back and forth, hitting the two warriors. That distances itself more and more from the pillow of that enormous prison. Braddock prepares to finish them off by saying, this is the final attack! And he screams, Demon Fist! And delivers a frighteningly powerful punch in the direction of the warriors. Goku screams, Vegeta! And Vegeta screams, Kakarot! And an intense blush glow takes over everything. The two transform into Super Saiyan Blue. Their heavily aura takes over everything. And the enemy who had fallen was surprised by the aura they had emanated. He said while applauding, Congratulations, you have transformed. But you think you can defeat me by just changing your hair color? Goku looks at Vegeta and Vegeta looks at Goku. The two shake their heads as if they agree with something and go after the enemy. Attacking him with a rain of punches and kicks, making him retreat. Several blows are delivered, but without causing much damage and push him back. Until suddenly, the villain says in fury, Enough! And it makes his key explode, throwing each of the warriors to the side. In that moment, Vegeta and Goku observe him, and the villain says, You are not the only ones who have a transformation. Since I have seen that you are worthy of seeing, I will show you my true and most powerful form to you. Prepare yourselves. Goku and Vegeta were feeling pressured by the enemy who said with laughter, You are too weak. It's no use changing your hair color or increasing your powers. You will still be insignificant beings compared to me. Goku dodges his attacks and Vegeta is impressed with the power of the enemy until Vegeta is hit and thrown away, colliding with a rock that explodes, leaving him in pieces. Vegeta! Vegeta, holding his injured left arm, stands up and says, Kakarot, you worm! Don't come closer! I don't need help! Returning to Earth, we see transformed Gotenks facing their opponent who begins to reveal his true powers. The enemy mercilessly starts attacking with several blows in a row. Gotenks starts to get stuck in corner trying to dodge. Gotenks does not understand when we said to rely on their skills and let their powers explode. 
and continues to battle. The villain throws him up and starts shooting several key blasts that hit him, pushing him further away. Gohan and Piccolo are feeling heated and wanted to interfere in the fight. But we says, you must not do this. If the two interfere, the boys will be furious and will not be able to show the apex of their powers. At that time, Gohan says, but sir, they're being butchered. Don't you worry, Gohan. They are much more powerful now. Back to Goku and Vegeta's battle. Vegeta decides to use his most powerful transformation, and when he transforms, he attacks the enemy, who is surprised, but not impressed. At that moment, the cruel villain closes his hand, creating something similar to a spear that he creates using his ki. Goku looks and says, Vegeta, be careful! He's able to create weapons using his own ki! It's dangerous! Vegeta screams, Shut up, Kakarot! I will finish him off! Vegeta starts to attack, and the enemy fans off all attacks using his incredibly powerful spear. Vegeta, even using his last form, is no match for the enemy. At that moment, the enemy yells at Goku. Hey, you! I already realized that you are much more powerful than this insect here. I don't want to fight this insignificant insect anymore. After saying that, the enemy hits his spear in Vegeta's leg, opening a huge hole, and then hits him, throwing him away. Vegeta falls to the ground, furious, and doesn't understand what just happened. He was extremely angry with the villain's provocation and says, How dare you say that Kakarot is stronger than me? At that moment, the villain goes up to Goku and placing the tip of his spear against his chest. He fires a gigantic blast, which sends Goku flying hundreds of kilometers away. The enemy looks at Vegeta and says, That wretch wasn't even using half of his power, and that's why he was defeated. <laughs> and since it's not here for me to enjoy myself, I'm going to dump you. Returning to the battle of Gotenks, we can see that Gotenks was getting the worst of it. At that moment, Piccolo says aloud, Hey boy, did you forget that we set to unleash your occult powers? You can lose to this guy! Take him out! Now! At this moment, Gotenks released an incredible energy, revealing the enormous power that was hidden within him and begins to launch several attacks towards Zabon. With one punch, Gotenks hits his enemy, sending him to the opposite direction. Then he uses his speed, pops up behind the monster, stretching his hands and screaming loudly. Super fast and powerful attack, silent unexpected, marvelous great explosive from Super Gotenks! At this moment, Piccolo, Gohan and Whis look embarrassed, and Piccolo says, He just said silent and then made all this scandal. And Whis responds, More than a stupid name. Gohan then completes, At least it wasn't expected. A massive energy starts to come out from the fingers of Gotenks and directly hits the enemy's back, which is immediately thrown towards a mountain, which is simply destroyed. The impact is so powerful that it makes everything starts to shake. Everyone who's there looks astonished. Piccolo then exclaims, The attack really has a stupid name, but... The power he accumulated in this technique is effective. Completes Whis saying, Don't celebrate too soon. It's not done yet. Returning to Vegeta's battle, we see the Saiyan lying on the ground, receiving several blows and being completely massacred. Not so close. Goku is recovering from the attack he just received. Goku stands up and says, Damn, he caught me off guard. If I had to transform, that would have finished him off. I need to get back soon before Vegeta dies. Braddock pierces various parts of Vegeta's body with a spear, and then says, I'd really rather be fighting the other one, because you're not enough to fight me. I'd really rather be fighting the other one, because you're not enough to fight me. At that moment, completely wounded and with no strength, Vegeta holds his enemy's leg, who quickly stabs Vegeta's arms with his spear. Braddock says, how dare you touch me, you useless insect! You are not worthy of soiling my clothes with those filthy hands of yours! Vegeta, looking at his splint that had just been severed injured, has a tear running from his eyes. At that moment, Vegeta sighs deeply and begins to mutter, I cannot believe it. I'm the great Vegeta, the true Saiyan Prince. I've... All I've done in my entire life is strained to overcome my powers, but the damn Kakarot is always one step ahead of me, and now I'm about to be defeated by an insect like that. That's unforgivable. 
I can't admit it. At that moment, Vegeta begins to lose consciousness. And in the distance, Goku approaches and he sees the Prince of All Saiyans extremely injured and screams, Vegeta! In an instant, Goku feels Vegeta's ki increase exponentially in ways he's never felt before. Goku flies to the place and finds a gigantic curtain of smoke that slowly decides the enemy that had been hit by the explosion. He stood up at a considerable distance from the lie. He muttered, what just happened? This power is not possible. The smoke settles. Goku watches Vegeta's silhouette rise. At that moment, a red mantle that covered his body, an old and torn fabric, rose before his eyes. And under the hood, they revealed themselves in a completely different form, which had surpassed the powers he had received when training with Beerus. This form was no longer called Ultra Ego. It was now called Vegeta Oblivion. At that moment, he starts to laugh. <laughs> the villain had begun to recover and slowly got up, seeing that Vegeta's arm and all the parts his body had impaled that had been injured had regenerated. At that moment, he noticed that Vegeta's power had reached another level. Vegeta then, after seeing all the smoke dissipate, begins to say, I knew there were no limits to me, and now, damn insect, I'll finish you off. With the corner of his eyes, he looks at Goku, and with a sadistic smile on his face, he says, Watch me, Kakarot. Soon, you'll be next. With an absolutely incredible speed, he flies to the villain, touching his head, causing the monster to simply begin to destroy itself, causing the body to disintegrate while the body died. He starts muttering, how is it possible? How can such power exist? That's not possible. At this moment, the villain dies. Then Vegeta falls to the side, unconscious. Goku lands beside him with his eyes wide open, pondering what just happened. A few hours have passed, and Vegeta wakes up asking, what? What happened? And Goku responds, I can't say what happened, but you awaken an amazing power and you destroy the enemy in a matter of seconds. The power you displayed goes beyond Ultra Ego. I believe beyond anything I've ever seen. How did you get to that level? Vegeta gets up confused, not knowing what just happened. However, he's happy and says, Kakarot, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I always knew I was capable of surpassing his powers. Maybe it's just my own nature to become stronger than you. Goku looks at him with a small smile and says, <laughs> And who said you were stronger than me? After Vegeta defeated the enemy who was torturing him, obtaining a new transformation, Vegeta's pride had returned. At this point, Vegeta gets furious and then says, Are you sure, Kakarot? You want to prove now which of us is the most powerful. After saying that, they hear an extremely loud noise coming from above. And when they look up, they can see a gigantic entrance in that fortress opening up. Goku then says, Looks like we'll have to postpone this fight for a little longer. Vegeta then just flies towards the entrance that has just opened. The two warriors continue their journey so they can rescue the God of Destruction Beerus. However, they could not reach an agreement because they exchange glances all the time, as if they misunderstood because the rivalry which they had was simply absurd. Meanwhile on Earth, after the incredible attack by Gotenks, we see a gigantic cloud of dust dissipating, and suddenly a scream can be heard. Everyone gets scared and feels an incredible presence coming out in the middle of all that dust. And then the enemy that was thought to be defeated appears and exclaims, You damn fool! How dare you hurt my body! <sighs> now I'll finish you off and I'll use everything I got to do it! So that you turn to dust! That monster doubles its size, its arms become gigantic, and scales appeared on its face, its eye turned completely black, and his aura expands in an unimaginable way. Gohan and Piccolo, they can't believe their eyes. That demonic being, that presence, becomes the most powerful being they could ever imagine. Gotenks is unable to move as he feels that crushing pressure. Gohan was completely in shock and Piccolo couldn't believe it. And Whis just watched and said, 
This monster's powers really are magnificent. I cannot help them face it. Because I am a deity, you will have to face him alone. But I trust your strength, and I know you managed to find a way out. Gotenks immediately becomes Super Saiyan 3 and raises his key by screaming. Gohan and Piccolo also use their most powerful transformations and the three warriors attack the monster to try to contain it. But even using all their speed and strength, they are not able to reach it. The monster, despite being gigantic, was fast. The monster manages to repel all attacks, causing the warriors to wonder if they are capable of facing it. Zabum grabs Gotenks by the leg, throw towards Piccolo, causing him to crash head-on with his friend. Gohan immediately starts firing several attacks using his key, which had no effect. Zabun looks at Gohan and in that instant, opened his mouth letting out a scream, accompanied by a blast of energy that hits him directly, tearing all his clothes. And moments later he already shoots towards the Saiyan who was falling, kicking him causing Gohan to be thrown towards the ground. He then flies, quickly stretching his legs and hits the Z warriors causing a huge explosion. Whis is worried about the warriors and he's not sure what lies ahead. Suddenly a voice comes up and shouts, get down! And then we can see future trunks with a sword, lopping off the freak's arm. And the monster screams in pain. And trunks plunges his sword through his heart. Gohan screams. Trunks, be careful! And Zabum holds Trunks' hair, throwing him away, leaving his sword behind. Gotenks holds the sword, withdrawing him by the blade, as if it were nothing. Gohan then says, What are you doing here, future Trunks? We don't have time for that. Now we have to end this damn thing. Gotenks then says, Get away from him! I'll attack him with everything! And he carried a gigantic key sphere of energy in his hands. Back to Goku and Vegeta. They are flying towards the second floor. When they least expected it, they are caught by traps. Vegeta is hit by an arrow. Goku screams, Vegeta, are you okay? Vegeta responds, <coughs> It just hit my shoulder. Of course I am, you idiot. Don't worry about me, let's move on. That's nothing. <coughs> Vegeta catches the arrow in his hand and breaks it. <coughs> Damn you. They keep flying towards the door. Arriving there, Vegeta and Goku realize they are not alone. Then they hear a very dark laugh. <laughs> Intruders deserve death. I'll kill your friend first to start the fun. Vegeta says, And why do you think this insect is my friend? Goku asks, Who said that? Then again, the voice says, Are you prepared to die? <laughs> Here I go! Goku and Vegeta are attacked, but nobody knows how and what attacked them. So Goku says, Will you be attacking us in the shadows? Show your face! Will you be attacking us from the shadows? Show your face! So Vegeta says, You goddamn idiot! If you're going to attack us, do it without hiding! He emerges from the shadows and had a humanoid appearance. So he introduces himself. My name is Chameleon, and I'm here to kill you. Vegeta says, I want to see you try. <laughs> then Chameleon responds, I'll leave you for later. You are the weakest. <laughs> Vegeta is serious and says, I will finish you off, you bug. Then Chameleon quickly hits Vegeta, throwing him to the ground. The attack was so powerful that made Vegeta cross the floor and end up in the same place as the fight with Braddock. Goku then goes on the attack. With one hand, he blocks Goku's attack. And he punches him, throwing him away, thus destroying the wall that was behind him. So Goku concentrates his ki and delivers several blows and the villain manages to defend himself from everything without even breaking a sweat. While Goku starts to feel very tired. So Goku thinks, how is this happening? He's barely moving. Laughing out loud, says the chameleon. <laughs> then you realize there's no way you can beat me. Every time you touch me, my body releases a toxin that is slowly consuming your energy. <laughs> so what will you do? So Goku thinks, 
I can't touch him if I don't want to die here. I need to do something. Goku concentrates his ki and starts screaming. Ah! So Goku transforms into Super Saiyan. He continues to concentrate his power and passes to his second transformation. And after that, he continues to raise his ki. Changing the color of his hair to blonde to red, then Goku uses his teleportation going behind the opponent and unleashes several blasts of ki, hitting the enemy from various angles that he falls to the ground. The attack was so surprising that the enemy is on the ground recovering and Goku doesn't let him recover, throwing several kicks and punches. Then the villain takes distance and says, <sighs> You're fast. Tell me, what is your name? Goku responds, Name's Goku, Son Goku, and I cannot be defeated by you. <laughs> At that moment, a hole appears in the ground, and Vegeta comes out grabbing him by the neck, screaming, Now I've got you, you damn worm! Meanwhile, the battle on Earth remains difficult for the Z warriors. Gohan starts to get furious, and at this point he says, I can't be holding back, making everyone admire his bestial transformation. It releases impressive ki, and future Trunks is amazed to see that form. The monster starts to be annoyed. Gohan goes onto him. The monster shows signs of concern, and Gohan goes towards him, hitting him several times, then throws him up and starts screaming, Kami! Kami! Ah! Firing an incredible powerful attack, turning the beast into dust. And so the enemy has just been defeated. Everyone starts to calm down. Until Piccolo asks Trunks, Why did you came to Earth? The job of a timekeeper is not but interesting. And Trunks responds, I had a mission nearby when I felt a very powerful evil key, so I decided to help. And I also wanted to see my mother and father. In that moment, the fusion of Gotenks dissolves, and when he returns to normal, the little Trunks screams, Big me! It's been a while since I've seen you! <laughs> At this moment, we can see that for a moment the Earth recovers its peace. Inside the fortress, Vegeta continues to punish his enemy, hitting him with a sequence of punches to the face while holding him by the neck. But Vegeta's punches get slower and slower, and Goku screams, Vegeta, don't touch him! Vegeta drops to his knees on the ground, and the evil being begins to speak. <laughs> Idiot. I said it before, but I'll have to repeat it. When you touch me, my body releases toxins that consumes your energy. Now, before I kill you, I will tell you who I really am. <laughs> to be continued. What will happen to Vegeta? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you already expose it here in your comments so we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!